the word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. In Colossians 2, 18 and 19, we learn the principle of the true work of a pastor teacher in this church age being kept alive. Today's Christendom has been beguiled by the reward of voluntary humility and worshipping of angels, intruding into those things which he hath not seen, and vainly popping up by his fleshy mind. Today we do find men battling around for these things rather than the reality and the truth. The only reason why they are into the human viewpoint of explanation, including the cryonic clonings, including the genome technology, biotechnology, robot technology, and they want to have a vision of 2040, including all the robotics to control. And they want to have no death by eradicating death by simply following the method of cloning. Do you know why they do this? Because they are vainly puffed up in their fleshy mind. And what do they do? They do not hold the head which is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He's thinking. And holding is what? Because they do not look upon the strength which could be gained when we are being absolutely controlled by the head of the body, which is nothing but our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And to gain that strength, it requires rebound and filling of the Holy Spirit. And this head is First Corinthians 2.14, the thinking of Christ, out of whom the entire strength, the manifold, unfathomable riches of Christ, His grace, His knowledge, is being able to provide for us, for the church, the outcalled one. And now being in the church, we are the Alike Nekedesis, new spiritual spaces unto Christ, through the media work of the pastor teacher who, whose work is the uniting principle fastening them so that they could be given a great nourishment and the force to drive that is in teaching and instructing being bonded together and that bonding of together is not possible if they're out of fellowship and we need to get back into the fellowship only by using rebound in the privacy of our priesthood. And as the pastor teacher teaches to you all, you need to be absolutely listening to that doctrine so that you should increase, increase, increase in the knowledge of Christ. In the work could be the result of you walking in the God. Therefore, dear brethren, the main uniting principle, the bona fide spiritual gift of a pastor teacher in the driving of them together so that they could now grow up, grow up in the result being result of the work of a pastor teacher in Ephesians 4, 11 to 13 in the knowledge of Bible doctrine, dear brethren. And this uniting principle work is not been made known to the pastors who are standing in the pulpits far less they can make them to walk in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy One. This work has been absolutely joked. This work has been neglected. This work has been replaced by the all sin nature activities. And do you know why the bona fide gift of a pastor teacher has been given? You are the main uniting principle between the head and the body together, so that now the body can grow into the growth of the knowledge of Bible doctrine. You don't have any other gimmicks. The anointing of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, given to you with the special ability of a pastor teacher gift is to train them up. Train them up to the reality of the word so that you should align with the thinking of the head. And if the head is not working properly, then the body will not grow up. And that is what it is the problem today. We are not holding up onto the head. We are not holding up onto the mind of Christ. We are not holding up onto the original exegesis of isagogic categories or in fact even the indeed of the true realm of the dispensing technique of dispensations under the polytema privileges. We are not holding up on it. And that is a great pain for us to know. Dear brethren, how many days more you want to beguile with your old nature flesh patterns? How many days more you want to be happy in those things, which is not at all worthy to be counted. 
The main work of a pastor teacher in Colossians 2.19 teaches to us in the Greek the strength which could be derived in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, so that we can learn the thinking of Christ and the every knowledge, the manifold wisdom of God, not only being manifested for us, but even to the angels by professors, you being sitting in the pews to teach them. So that the Arcane Ketesis, fastening under this uniting principle by daily nourishment of Bible doctrine, the driving force together under the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, growing, increasing in the result of the work of the knowledge of Bible doctrine in reaching the maximum glorification of Christ when you execute the three stages of the subtle spiritual one, our spiritual self-esteem, our spiritual autonomy, and then by spiritual maturity, reaching unto maximum glorification for Christ. And this is the work of the unique spiritual one, the work that could be derived in the mystery doctrine of the church age, the work that could be taught under the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, in this church age. When do you hold? When do you gain your strength? When you are walking in the fellowship so that you can, so that you can cut all to the head, not to the other things, the head of Christ, the thinking of Christ. Therefore, dear brethren, know the real duty of a pastor teacher and let's honor our Lord because he has honored his word above his name. And even the uniting principle which Apostle Paul writes in Ephesians 2, in Colossians 2.19 in comparison to Ephesians 4.11-13, to the work of a pastor teacher to be done faithfully. Think over this as we shall continue in the next tape. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that I was given to fellowship with you through the word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, will enlighten us on these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge, sovereign Lord. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.